know, it looks a lot older than I remember it, but I guess I was here 15 years ago. So that, that happens. So my first plan was to go and just drop my bags off, but the ticket machine at the MRT doesn't take uh, the bus. It should. It has a machine there, but it just won't light up. So, uh, so I'm gonna go try and find an ATM. I can start uh, showering bills around. That's fine. So I'm here, this is my room, I'm all checked in, and they let me check in early without a penalty fee, which is fantastic. When I'm in Brisbane, I'm gonna be probably just living in a tent for four weeks. So uh, my halfway mark between Amsterdam and Brisbane, I want Singapore to be kind of like a rest stop that I can relax and enjoy. Pretty happy with this. There's a lot of places that seem to be closed today or not opening until later on. I think maybe Singapore is a bit of a lazy, late starting city. They seem to have like really cheap tourist plans, which would give you like a massive amount of data and also double as a public transport pass that you can top up. So that sounds really cool and I might see if I can get one of those from the machine. <laughs> found a place for breakfast right on the corner there. Pancakes, not what I was expecting, but it was still pretty good. I've just been wandering around the malls, nothing's open, uh, or it's just opening now, but the uh, mobile phone places, even the automated machine isn't working, so it's like... So this is Raffles Hotel where mum and I and probably some other people went and had high tea about 15 years ago. And also where this revolting picture was taken. Ah, what was I thinking? One thing's for sure though, this thing was definitely not here 15 years ago. It's enormous and it's another hotel. Wikipedia says that this is a Guinness record for the largest fountain in the world. I think that thing erupts every so often. I don't really remember much about it to be honest, but I don't know. It's pretty fun. I made a wish.
Weird name aside, I think Giant Hyperfresh might be my favorite supermarket. My goodness, so I just woke up from the hugest nap. I am massively jet lagged and I uh, almost just slept through the entire afternoon. So it's about 5 p.m. now, and as you can see, we've got a tropical storm raging outside. I'm gonna sit this one out for a bit. It's supposed to rain all evening, but I'm hoping it clears up enough eventually to get out and catch some city lights. Fascinating. A few years back now, they blocked up Marina Bay with something called Marina Bay Barrage, which is like a water control system that actually separates it from the open ocean. So now this is a freshwater system and it's like a, a water reservoir, which is amazing. But hilariously, because there's been so much rain, they can't run cruises because the boats, there's too much water, the boats won't fit under the bridges anymore. <laughs> That's amazing. No, I remember this place, but not because I actually remember it, but because I've got a photo album. This is like a night we went out for Mexican dinner somewhere called Tex-Mex, because that's the name of the folder with the photos in it. Like, I remember taking one of the photos, but this is pretty great. Sands. This is the uh, famed light show. Happens twice a night. I just think it's boring. What's it doing? Before I got here, I did a little bit of research and found out Marina Bay Sands is run, well owned rather, by a casino consortium that donates entirely to the Republican Party in the US. It takes a shine off things. Bloody hot. Uh, tonight I am flying back to Brisbane at 1 a.m. Singapore time and I should get in at about 10.30 Brisbane time. So I don't know, I'm gonna have a medium-sized day and I'll make sure to get a nap before I do head back. My first order is to find something to eat and then just explore some other things that are around. This is an amazing view, I love it. All right, well, uh, let's go see what we can find. It's not hot, but the heat here is so oppressive. It's like, exactly like I remember it. It's a warm hug, stifling.
Hey, yeah, can I please get the Menemen? Menemen, what would you like to drink? Maybe just water. I just you know what the sparkling water. Uh, not sparkling, just plain. Oh man, like the second I set this thing up, they started a compressor over there, so yeah, you can deal with the noise. Um, this was gorgeous. This is the Muslim precinct, I guess, and it is so damn touristy. It's only a block or two from my hotel, and I was only going to come here because apparently it's a great place for photos, but it's way better than I expected. Oh god. Anyway, I ended up having, what's it called? Menemen, like a shakshuka type thing. Which I think I've offended everyone by saying that. A little restaurant, very cute. This whole place, I love it. Not too sure what I'm doing uh, now, but um, it looks like it's gonna start raining, so I need to find something that's indoors. canal here, or a river, according to Google Maps. Reminds me a bit of Amsterdam. <laughs> so I'm heading up here to a place called Simlim Square. This is like a technology district? I suppose, no, it's a big, big market thing. Ah, I used to love this thing when I was younger. And I'm really, really curious to see how it looks now. So that was a pretty amazing experience. I haven't been here for 15 years or so. So when I was younger, I was really into computers and technology and all that sort of thing. But I never really had the money to blow on gadgets and do hickeys. And even if I did, there wasn't really anywhere you could go to buy them. Yeah, just what it was a different time, really. I have really fun memories of picking up random bits and pieces from this place, and it's just so cool to be back. I'm done. Yeah, I'm still pretty jet lagged. I'm feeling it's probably time for a nap. There's only, well, I mean, there's a handful of hours until I need to catch my flight, but I think I'm cooked, done, ready. Yeah, Singapore has been pretty great, and I'm really happy to have come back here, and it holds a special place in my heart. So I'm gonna have a nap, and I guess we'll just leave it there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Catch you in Brisbane.
hours early here at the airport, so I figured I'd go check out Jewel. I mean, that's something that <laughs> apparently you just have to see. That was pretty cool. Like that, it was a good way to win Singapore. I think if you are stopping over in the airport, definitely check it out. It's good. Anyway, I'm gonna go catch my flight and I will see you in Brisbane again. <laughs>